The most rewarding part of my job is the, the patient interaction, developing that relationship and being a part of their care. A lot of times as a urologist, you start with meeting the patient, sometimes following them for something other than the cancer. In following them, wind up diagnosing their cancer and then you carry them all the way through their treatment and their cure. Uh, I find that very rewarding, one of the best things uh, and one of my favorite things about what I do. With robotic technology, you can now use a camera and insert very small instruments, instruments no bigger than the size of a ballpoint pen into this area and now it feels like you have a wide open surgical field. Previously with open surgery you'd be working in a deep hole in a very narrow opening and an opening that you could barely fit one or two hands in. Um, now you can fit several different instruments in what appears to be a wide open surgical field. Every motion and movement by the robot is dictated by my controls. I sit in a control station, what we call the surgical console. When it comes to the training for robotic surgery, it tends to vary. Um, there right now are dedicated fellowship programs where a trained surgeon, a surgeon who's already finished a residency training, specializes in just doing robotics um, and it's under the direct supervision of a fellowship director. I did over 500 uh, robotic surgeries during my fellowship year, uh, you know, and I'm lucky to have had that kind of experience. It gave me the ability to go out into practice with the confidence I needed. Cancers that we're primarily treating with the robot, especially in the field of urology, are prostate cancer, kidney cancer, and bladder cancer. We have extended this spectrum to include adrenal, malignancies as well as cancers of the ureter um, and it seems like every day we continue to expand our indications for the robotic technology and some of the other surgical fields as well. Robotic surgery is ideal for treating prostate cancer because of where the prostate sits anatomically in the male pelvis. It's deep and it's surrounded by a rigid bone, rigid bony anatomy called the, the, the pelvis so it's difficult to access. The most exciting thing about being part of Meridian Cancer Care is that it is a program that I've seen evolve exponentially through the past several years. Um, more and more specialties are becoming more active and it's really making it a nice and rewarding experience, not only for, for the patients, but also for the docs, having that uh, relationship with the other, uh, other docs and other specialties, um, all helping to facilitate the you know, enhanced and improved care for our patients.